Good morning, Frederick. Good morning, Rina. How was your CD day? It was a good day. Uh, I had a beautiful dream in the night. I'm not talking about that now. But the whole day went very smoothly. I made it in the last minute. They had closed Trirabindo's room at 11 and I sneaked in. Very smooth. Very nice. Very nice. So tell me, you wanted to talk to me a little bit about Kirit this morning. Yeah, now I hesitate, but let me go on with it. Um, it's almost two months since Kirit was cremated. Uh, he was very gentle to me. I was wondering how it would be when this would happen, and about two weeks before he finally left his body, when I entered in the nursing home, his room, I suddenly knew that he was going to go. And he knew that I knew. And from that moment on, we didn't speak anymore. He would, I would sit next to his bed and he would hold my hand and at times he would press and have pressure in the hand and I would touch his arm and caress his arm. Very soft, very smooth, very innocent. And um, I could feel that something which was gathered and concentrated in him and something which correspondingly also was very formed strongly in me was slowly being gently dissolved. So when he actually finally left his body, there was no you might say agony. I don't think he went through an agony and I felt very freed and light and somewhere even grateful and joyful. Mm. And maybe if I just describe what my impression was when he actually was laid out on the pyre in the burning guard in Las Bet, with his immaculate white Raymond suit and we were all standing around and strangely enough what brought a chuckle and almost a shock into me was when Manoj, the managing trustee of the ashram, put the ghee on his Raymond suit and I said, no, no, he wouldn't like that at all. <laughs> but it was such a formal gesture and when then the mud cakes the cow dung cakes were placed over you have the last darshan and then the flames came up suddenly I had a sense that whatever is crystallized, concentrated uh, personified on one particular person like Kirit for which he was the carrier, but also the shelter and also the messenger, suddenly is liberated and put back into the spirit, into the atmosphere. Mm. And there are definitely for me, and that's a very personal experience, uh, a couple of, you might say, basic pillars of Auroville's being which he represented, which are embedded in the Charter and they should be with us anyhow, but he seemed to be the personal messenger of it. Mm. And because it became such a personal thing, it also entered then this realm of individuality, of acceptance or rejection, because at one point after he had uh, stopped being chairman, he s mentioned something like, since Auroville rejected me, and I felt no curate. And then he enumerated these points like <coughs> uh, no exchange of money, uh, no personal possession, the governance, the psychic governance of the community, and um, the entry...